What's up locals? Here are the questions you need to ask when deciding whether or not you need a cart and which cart is right for you. This is local. We are local. This video is not sponsored, but our friends at jkdiscs.com did lend us the carts for this video and our upcoming video where we go into great detail with each of the Zuka slash Dynamic Discs carts that are available. We'll leave a link to their shop and highly recommend you check them out. Let's start with, does a cart make sense for you and your game? What do you need it for? Is it for tournament play, casual rounds, or a mix of both? What are your courses like? Are you playing a bunch of wooded courses where a cart that's not easy to lift and move, like the transit cart, wouldn't make sense? Are your local courses hilly or fairly flat? One course here is known for its elevation changes, and you rarely see a cart on that course. Are your courses busy where you're finding you're waiting around a lot? Is having a seat a feature that interests you? If a seat is important to you, how tall are you? What's a comfortable seat height? Does a cart even make sense? Maybe you don't carry many discs and your local courses are fun little courses where you're thinking it'd be nice to have a seat, so I'm gonna buy a cart, which is cool. They've got a cart for that, but remember, a fold-up camping stool is like five to $10. How many discs do you carry? This is a big one. I remember when I bought my transit cart, I thought it'd be great that my bag held 14 to 18 discs and my cart could carry 25. So it could serve different purposes. Field testing, tournament play would be great to carry extras, so I'll get this larger cart. However, I've been taking a more minimalist approach to disc golf lately, and I found I started to wish that my cart carried a similar amount to my bag, as discs were always loose and falling over in my cart. Do you wanna keep your discs in your bag, or are you able to commit fully to a cart? I thought I wanted to keep my bag, in my head, it would be so easy to take my perfectly set up bag and just put it in a backpack style cart. But what I ended up finding was that disc golf bags are built to access both the sides and even the back of the bag, as well as the front. And a backpack style cart doesn't give you great access to the sides. Also, the backpacks that fit the backpack cart best are usually quite tight to get in and out which almost makes it so you don't want to take it in and out. When it's in the cart, it's fully utilizing the space, but it becomes a hassle to take it in and out versus a smaller bag or a bag that has more room sitting in that cart. But then it doesn't sit tight and ultimately you end up realizing that this setup requires you to compromise on what your bag normally offers. Do you need to carry anything extra? Do you require any additional storage? Some carts provide lots of additional storage, while carts like the compact cart don't offer a ton. And one you don't hear many people mention, how big is your vehicle? Yes, this is a thing. You've gotta get a cart to and from the course. I remember talking with Todd Kennedy last summer about his compact cart, and the first thing he mentioned is that it fits into his car really easily. I'd considered most Zuka carts when I bought my transit cart, and despite all of the research I did, I found myself not using my cart nearly as much as I thought, which has more to do with the cart I chose, not because it's not a good cart, but because I didn't ask the right questions. I focused on some of these questions, but not all of them. And that's why I hope this video will help you to make the right decision on a cart. Now, as local disc golf, we always recommend you support your local shop first. But if that's not an option, we have included some Amazon links where by purchasing through our link, you'll actually be supporting local disc golf. The cart isn't any more expensive, but we'll get a small commission when you use that link. Support your local shop first, but if that's not an option, we'd love it if you'd support local disc golf by using our link. Be sure to check out this video next. This is local. We are local.